So we're witnessing the evolution of Cardano right in front of our eyes, and many people aren't noticing this. I've, I've been around this space for a long time. I've actually seen this take place with other blockchains. And, you know, even just over the last two years, this evolution has led to big surges in activity and adoption for some of these other blockchains. And I want to talk about whether this can, in fact, shed some new light on the Cardano ecosystem. So specifically what I'm talking about is meme coins. Meme coins bring in a ton of new users, a ton of fresh capital. And what we've seen is actually this big boom in terms of meme coins on Cardano. So I know a lot of people wanted me to talk about Nike and guys, Nike has done extremely well, up 54,000% over the last seven days. It's become the largest largest Cardano native token. It has an 8.5 million ADA uh, market cap. It's number one right now. It's done exceptionally well. Awesome. Congrats to all the people that are in Nike. I'm not in it. But this is all just taking place in a very short period of time. Now, what you need to pay attention to is what have other coins done during that same time? We have actually seen this burst from other meme coins as well. Pablo, now the number four largest Cardano native token three days ago. Uh, Donzo, all right, num number eight, just two days ago. Hawk Tua, go figure, right? <laughs> I figured someone would make that. Number 12, one day ago. And there's many more even down below here that have in fact been launching and climbing the ranks of the Cardano ecosystem. Now, is this sucking capital from some of the projects within Cardano? Yes, it is. Is this bringing in some outside capital as well? Yes, it is. So why this can actually be a good thing, I want to reference back to um, what actually happened with Solana. So for those that aren't familiar, Solana was actually specifically an NFT blockchain. All right? I'm not saying that's the only thing they did, but that's what they were known for. NFTs were kind of the big thing on Solana back in late 2022. It was climbing the ranks. It was actually rivaling Ethereum to become the largest uh, largest NFT blockchain in all of crypto. And if you get, if for those that aren't familiar, um, Cardano actually passed Solana at one point there. That was when we were going through a lot of the, a lot of the, the growth testing phases of, uh, the Cardano blockchain. Now Cardano or, uh, Solana has now become a meme coin hub. It's become the, the crypto casino chain, right? It's the chain that people go to, to try to make a quick buck and, and do whatever. Right. And that's fine. But what we've seen is thing th there was a coin that led the way for everything and what it was was bonk bonk actually became the largest meme coin on solana it brought in a lot of new users people started launching new meme coins and it became an ecosystem that began to flourish you guys can probably see the the ramp up in terms of users and use and coin launches and things like that on the solana blockchain and now it's launched some very big ones you know with uh book of meme we all know what that did in just 24 hours insane launch but now there is this booming meme coin ecosystem that is Solana, all right? So what we may experience now is if you continue to see these meme coins do well and climb the ranks, it brings new optics on Cardano. Now, I'm not saying it's the right optics, all right? I don't think the reputation as a meme coin casino is a good thing, especially when you talk about bigger partnerships and bigger adoption worldwide. But when we go back to what may in fact make Cardano the most dominant blockchain in all of crypto, you have to be able to do everything, right? I know I've talked about um, secular stuff, right? Where this blockchain will do this and this blockchain will do this and this blockchain will do this. Well, now Cardano has gotten to the point where it can actually span multiple areas. It can do meme coins, it can do NFTs, it can do payments, it can do banking, it is getting uh, adopted worldwide in different countries for pieces of infrastructure. There's a lot of different things that the Cardano blockchain can do. And this evolution that we're seeing right now is what tends to lead to that. As long as this continues, and I'm not promoting meme coins or anything like that, but if this continues, this, this evolution growth phase of Cardano, it is what can in fact take us from this point of you know, 30,000 or so daily active users to hundreds of thousands to millions of daily active users, a robust budding ecosystem with tons of fresh capital that just makes us boom. All right. So it, it's very interesting. I'm very excited to see this, this increase in activity on Cardano. We're seeing surges in, um, in volume. I mean, this is, this is actually a good thing. It's a good thing, but the big thing is just making sure, obviously it doesn't get out of hand, making sure that people don't lose sight of the giant that Cardano is becoming. It's not just about meme coins. It's not just about NFTs. It's about everything. So I appreciate you guys as always. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but have a great day. 
I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.